All right, guys. In this video today, I'm going to be making a raised wicking bed for growing flowers or vegetables. Now, if you're not familiar with the term wicking bed, let me explain what it is. It's a plastic container with sand in the bottom and soil on top of the sand. You put your plants into the soil and you water them just as you normally would. Now, to stop this thing filling up with water, we put a hole and a pipe into the sand. And that way, if it rains really hard or if you put too much water on, it fills up to a certain level and then it overflows out the pipe. And the clever thing is, because it's raised off the ground, you can put a container underneath and any of that water will go back into the container and it can be reused. So if you put 10 litres in and it only needs five, five comes back out ready for using next time. Try doing that in your garden. So today I'm going to make this wicking bed and I want to do it all in one day. So let's get making. The first thing I need to do is go and get me materials. Now I've got my boxes, let's take some measurements and cut some wood. Six pieces, one metre long by seven and a half, and four pieces, one metre long. Let's get cutting. Well, that's all the pieces made for the base and the four sides. So now all I need is for four corners to appear round about here. Oh, they'll do fantastic. Now I can nail it all together. <laughs> just need a hole here. Oh that's fantastic. The same in the plastic base. And now the holes are drilled, I can fit these pieces. That goes through the hole in the wood. Excellent. All that's left to do now is to fit these pipes into the pieces that I've just fitted. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot the holes. So all I have to do now is make the holes. Oh, 
Oh, that's really good. Let's get them fitted. But before I fit them, I have to wrap material around the pipes to stop any sand or roots going into the holes because that can block the holes up. And now the pipe's covered, we just push it into the connectors that we fitted earlier. All that's left to do now is to nail the edge on with screws. Well now all I have to do is to make some sort of stand to put it on and I'm going to make that out of this. There we go. Now that all the bits are finished, I'm going to go into the garden and put these two post supports into the ground. And then, to make sure everything's not wonky, I get to use this. This is what I used when I made the horse shelter. It's my laser spirit level. Of course, it's a bit like Star Trek, eh? Let's beam over to the garden and get it installed. That would be great. Whoops. So this is where the first post is going. Let's get it in. Seems about right. Let's get the other one in. And now that everything's level with the laser, I can fire the dot onto the post, measure down from the top, and then do the same on this other post to make sure they're both at the same level. Two hundred millimeters exactly. So let's measure two hundred down on here. And see how far out we are. Okay. Laser's leveled, so I just need to tap it down one centimeter. That's perfect, that is. Yep, 
Yesterday, I finished fitting the box, and now that it's all level, I put these wedges in to make sure it doesn't move. And the next thing I'm going to do is to treat the wood with some colour and some wax, just so it'll last a bit longer. Before I start filling it with soil and plants, I want to make sure that my overflow system works. That's perfect! Then we put the sand in and make it level. That's all ready for the soil. Time to put the soil in. Now what I'm going to do is plant it up. The veg I'm going to be using is corn, which I grew from seed in my aquaponics, and some peas, which I also grew from seeds in my aquaponics, and I'm going to be using these sweet potatoes. Now, they're organic sweet potatoes, and my missus put them in water, and after a few days, the roots started growing. And after a few weeks, they go a bit crazy. Now, some people break these off and plant them individually, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to plant the full potato. Let's see how it works. guys there it is it's all finished and it's all planted up so what's the advantage of having one of these wicking beds the main advantage is it never dries out because the soil takes all the moisture it needs from the wet sand that's in the bottom and another advantage is there's never any waste water unlike when you water your garden or your plant pots the water can come out the bottom of the plant pot or it can run away from wherever you're trying to water Whereas with a wicking bed, the water stays in the container. And you can't overwater it either, because if you do put too much water in, it just comes out of the overflow and back into a container and it can be reused. Which is great if you're using plant food, because there's never any waste plant food either. The plant food that you put in your water just comes straight back out with the water and that can be reused again as well. And the last thing is, you never have to bend down. Well, not unless you're filming. So the wicking bed is really good for anybody who's got a bad back. And if you can think of any other advantages of having one of these, leave a comment in the section below. And if you want to see how I get on, subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing another film in about a month's time to see how it's getting on. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.